laser-powered nuclear fusion test, obtained breakthrough results in this field of science. Laser-powered nuclear fusion experiment and results obtained by a team from the American Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, their groundbreaking. They represent a quantum leap in the work on inertial fusion. The U.S. Department of Energy announced Tuesday, that the National Ignition Facility NIF, operating in California succeeded obtain a positive energy balance in the fusion process using high-power laser radiation. According to scientists, this is crucial moment, the first step towards achieving the source of energy that revolutionize world. Detailed scientific data is currently being processed analysis but we can definitely talk about very good news. Energy the produced by the synthesis reaction was greater, 3.15 mJ, than the energy supplied to fusion fuel, 2.05 mJ. Experiment conducted and results obtained they are groundbreaking in this field of science and constitute a milestone in work research on inertial thermonuclear fusion where, Using strong the laser radiation beams can be compressed precisely enough fusion fuel to make the fusion process as efficient as possible. The NIF is conducting research on triggered fusion with the help of powerful lasers, which is slightly different than in most studies experimental ones conducted in Europe in a version with magnetic maintenance plasmas. You could say there are two branches of fusion work thermonuclear. We are talking here about fusion devices in which initiation the synthesis is completely different. In both cases, fuel is used hydrogen isotopes, deuterium and tritium. One uses the power of the powerful lasers, just like in the NIF, in the second one there is a magnetic trap, tokamak devices istellarator, in which a rare plasma circulating inside is enclosed appliances. Thanks to this, synthesis processes occur slower and less dynamically, which makes them easier to control. The ultimate goal of experiments of both types is to produce energy for the needs of humanity. Fuel resources, hydrogen isotopes, would in practice be because it is almost inexhaustible, and the amount of waste is to be much smaller than in the case of typical nuclear power plants. However, this will still need to be done wait. In both cases, scientists still have a lot of work to do, because there is still enough road to build a commercial fusion power plant complicated. However, the latest experiment has shown that it may be feasible for her creation based on inertial fusion, i.e. powered by lasers. At the same time, it is worth mentioning the recent success of experiments conducted in Great Britain, in the JET, Joint European Taurus, Tokamak device, where a positive energy balance was also achieved. There are great hopes for this European Eurofusion program and in perspective with a new Tokamak called ITER. In Europe, research on fusion into Tokamak devices dominates, i.e. magnetic plasma maintenance. Both approaches, lasers and tokamaks, need to be overcome countless challenges. The experiment at NIH just described is a bit like trying to hit 192 pins in a peppercorn so that they all the pins hit at the same time, but did not pierce the seed, but squeezed they eat with perfect accuracy to a very high density to make it desirable reaction. This is just a very general attempt to illustrate the process and due to the large inaccuracy and emerging instabilities in the case of the NIF experiment special hall ROM disks are used. Indirect ones are used in them interaction of a laser beam with an exemplary pepper through gold the cylinder that the laser hits and generates strong X-rays, which compresses fuel. Unfortunately, when it comes to forecasts, it probably won't work now determine the time when the first power plant could be built and at what time technology will be based. Experimental research device, the European ITER Tokamak had been in operation for several years now, the 
However, due to the need to conduct additional research and scale the project's launch is postponed, but the construction is we expect a very advanced and first plasma around 2025-26. There are many reasons. The technological challenges are powerful and in virtually all branches of science are involved in this type of project. You need materials that can withstand huge temperature gradients, powerful ones pressures and will cope with strong neutron and other particle fluxes. Methods are being developed for producing and recovering tritium inside the device, the because its availability on Earth is limited. For fusion research laser construction is necessary to build lasers in order for it to have practical application with greater repetition, so that the frequency of interaction with the fuel ball can occur more often, and more efficiently and be equipped with new ones technologies. Challenges, however, are not only of a technological nature. The costs of such projects are enormous. No European country on its own he could undertake this type of program. That is why, for example, Eurofusion takes part many European countries and in the ITER project also from outside Europe. Americans, however, are looking for partners in the private sector, which by investing gigantic funds, he counts on profits that are still too early. It not everything, much depends on politics. Currently, humanity still has access to fossil fuels and uses them to produce energy, which limits funding of merger research opportunities. Fossil fuel resources are still dwindling, obtaining them is becoming more and more difficult, and burning them contributes to occurrence of the greenhouse effect. Fusion is pure energy it would definitely be to the benefit of our planet. Therefore. The breakthrough achieved in NIF allows you to look at the near horizon with optimism and believe, that energy the future will be energy from fusion, which scientists will continue to develop they work.